I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Kerbal Space Program version 0.25. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's here! It's here, everyone! It's happening! It's all happening! Oh, get excited! Get excited! Okay, listen up. Hi, uh, yeah, welcome to KSP.25, the release video here on the Ronin Pawn Channel, Ronin Pawn Channel, and uh, KSP.25, as well as our new Pawnington series, brought to you by Pork Jet. We're Pork Jet, we make the planes. Fry the pig. Yes, Ride the Pig, and Pork Jet has an addition to KSP.25 in the new version. So, we're going to be showing you some of that today. I've got three things right here, right off the bat, to show you in KSP.25. I got myself an early advance release copy, by the way. You know how I did that. <laughs> the Ronin Bond strikes again! I hacked into the FTP... No, they just gave it to me. I don't know why they think that they should be giving me free software and allowing me into, you know, experimental access to things, but they are, and so, hey, here we are. Okay, release video. Yes, there are three things on the screen right now that are new in point two five. Can you pick them out? Dee, 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 dee. It's like Blue's Clues. What, what are they? What are they? Number one, most important thing, hello, grass. Pretty, pretty grass, and I do mean pretty. When you start flying around Kerbin and seeing how much nicer the surface of the planet looks with this new grass texture and the new grass interface, OMG. OMG, people. It's the little things that count. Also, it's the really big, massive things that count. The big, massive things such as the administration building. Look, we got a whole new building. We got a whole new building with a pool that doesn't have any any railing or safety features at all. That's That's... Probably kids are gonna fall in there and drown. That's... I don't want to have to think about that while I'm playing my space game. What's the administration building about? Well, it's, uh, it may not seem like a very exciting place at first until all the children start drowning in the pool. That, that's what that said. Did you read it? That's, that's what it said. Third, third up on the list, okay, we've got these little ticks. We've got these little ticks. Look, 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 come come around here, come around here. Okay, so anything that's visible, any craft that is visible from this view around the Space Center, anywhere you can point this camera, is going to be presented to you as little tick, as little indicator. Click on that, and you're going to have the option to fly it or recover it. Oh, so convenient. There are just so many other things that I need to show you about KSP.25 today. Please do come along with me right now. We're going to head down to, we've got a little event stage down down here, as you can see, that's what all this is about. So, um, please follow me down to the landing strip. Houston calling Pawn, come in, Pawn. Houston, I'm sorry, I can't be bothered right now. I've got our VIPs, they're in. I'm bringing the guests down to the event. I'm really sorry to interrupt, Pawn, but we've got ourselves an emergency. I need your help in the control tower right now. Houston, I told you before we got started, I cannot be bothered today. I don't care what's going on, you've got to handle it. You've just got to handle it, son. Pawn, I'm serious. This is an emergency. This is beyond trouble that we've got coming at us. You've got to help me. Houston, I told you, I cannot be bothered today. You know how hard I've been working on this. This is the point two five video. This is the point two five video. I don't have time for this. I know, Pawn, but... Listen, Houston, I do not care. I cannot be bothered today. I don't care if there is an asteroid on a collision course with the VAB. I cannot be bothered. Handle it. Well, it's funny that you should put it exactly that way, Pawn, because... Houston, I'm cutting con channel! God, I've got to do everything around here. It's horrible. Now I've got to go put on a show. Please join me down on the landing strip. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is my lovely co-host, Bill Kerman. Say hello, Bill. And welcome to the Kerbal Space Program version 0.25 Technology and Career Expo! Brought to you by Pork Chat. Thank you. Thank you. You're, um, you're too kind. Y you know what? You know what, everyone? Just go back to your post. Go back to your post. If you can't get excited, just go man your post. Go, Bill, remind me to fire them all tomorrow. Now, when I told Porkjet that we were going to be doing a .25 video, they said, well, let's do, let's do like a technology fair. Let's, let's show off some of our new technology. So, here we are. Some of the Kerbals from uh, our new Pawnington series, the R&D Technology Lab, they wanted to show off some of the technology that they've been working on uh, in our, in our Bargain Rockets program, you know. We, we, we went through some economically hard times, so, you know, for a minute there we were using um, potatoes. Uh, potatoes as opposed to batteries, which, you know, they're just showing off there that's actually... Is that your third grade, like, science fair project? And over here we've got, um... I don't know, what 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 is your deal, sir? You, you've got a cell phone, you've got a cup, 
little beverage, little styrofoam cup, are you sipping something out of it? You look like a vicar to me. And this thing too, are you, were you selling Bibles and you've sold out? Don't sell the word of the Lord, okay? Sell, to sell the word of the Kraken. I'm a, I'm a new Advent hedged evolutionist Krakenite. So, in fact, I'm a high priest in the new Advent hedged evolutionist Krakenites. So, don't argue with me or I'll blink you out of existence. Lich. And here we've got some of our parachute technology. That's a pot that we shoved a, uh, a big uh, quilt into and there's some hefty bags. Attention, Ronan and Pawn. Ronan and Pawn, please contact the control tower immediately. This is urgent. Ronan and Pawn, please contact the control tower immediately. <sighs> I'm not calling him. I'm not calling him. Come on, let's just carry on, Bill. Let's ignore him. These are actual legitimate science parts. I don't know how those managed to work their way onto our grounds. We, we're mostly a trash-based organization. And as you can see over here, just take a little jog, uh, Bob. Bob has stepped out. Hi, Bob. How's it going? Yes, you're wearing the orange suit. That means you're, um, you're in charge, you know? It's sort of the, the equivalent of the, uh, of the red jumpsuit for Picard, you know? And, and, and Will, Will Riker, and, um, um, Q. He's doing a bit of an AMA today, so anything that you'd like to ask Bob Kerman, just go ahead and shout it out right now. Everyone, everyone, anything, anything you want to ask Bob, he's right here. Bob's right here. Anything, go ahead. Just shout it out, everyone. Ready to take your questions now. Veteran Kerbinaut, answering questions. No? Nothing? Nothing? Sorry, Bob. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is what we're really here for. This is the Raven Spear Mark IV, a space plane plus craft made by Pork Jet, sponsors of the New Pawnington series here on the Ronin Pawn channel. Subscribe today. Um, this is a this is a jet that you're going to find in the stock parts, in the stock kit for version 0.25. And as you can see, we've got some new, some new body parts, we've got some new wing parts, we've got all kinds of new parts. All the parts in the space plane plus kit are just they're just more plainy. They're just more plain, they're not they're not so plain. As the as the other plain stuff used to be, is sort of plain. Now this is plain. This is this is more plainish instead of plainy. So it's, it's a plain. It's a plain. I use some plantains. Bill, do you want to have plantains for dinner? Now, Porkjet was good enough to send over a slightly modified version of the Raven Spear here, so I'm going to show you probably the most awesome feature of the Space Plane Plus kit, and that is this. Hello, Cargo Bay. Cargo bay. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. You can store things in a cargo bay in your plane and release them like so. Yeah, you know what I like to keep in there? Little rovers that I've made out of the new space plane parts. Bill, get in there and bring her around for us. Oh, look out, there's a bit of a wheel in your way. Yeah, just a little bit to the right, little bit to the there. There you go, okay, almost, okay. Bill, Bill, are you with me, Bill? Bill, oh, Bill, oh, Bill, Bill. B Bill Kerman. Bill, Bill may be dead. I may have killed Bill. Oh, <laughs> I killed Bill. <laughs> okay, careful this time, Bill. Careful. Just, just ease her out. There you go, son. There you go. Wonderful. And here you have it, my Space Plane Plus golf cart. It's a perfect vehicle, absolutely perfect vehicle, for tooling around the Space Center at your leisure. Very slim, very sleek. Uh, the seat's four, okay. Uh, child seat, safety seat. Has a very high crash rating. Um, Okay, it doesn't have a high crash rating. There's there's no like roll bar or anything, but it, it's fine. Oh, well, that's odd. They, they seem to be testing the um, the GTFO system that we just put in. The GTFO says it's an emergency system. In the event of emergencies, uh, this will this sound will be played uh, in to indicate it should be a good idea for you to GTFO immediately. Um, must just be testing it. Just just testing it, I presume. And as long as we're tooling around the Space Center on a nice little pork jet space plane plus buggy, wouldn't it be a lovely idea to stop in over at the new administration building? And take a dip, maybe. Oh, you, you missed the parking space. You back it up, back it up. Oh, God. It's just a, he's a grandma driver. Come on. Come on, put it in the parking space. There you go. No, no, that's Scott Manley's spot. He's going to be pissed off if you park like that. This is the compact vehicle parking space that Bill's drive. See? See? Another good reason to build your craft out of, out, out of uh, wings. Bill, what you say? Let's take a dip in the pool! Whee! Oh. Um. Oh. Bill? Um. Bill, this doesn't seem to be proper physics. Also, the cat is apparently pissed off. Oh my god, Bill! <laughs>
Look at this! Look at this! I've never played with the pool before. Look! Look at how high he jumps. See, when I walk, took him to the edge and I jumped him, he jumped way the hell up! That's beautiful! You're not gonna get trapped down in there, are you, Bill? No, oh my god, look at that! <laughs> it's they've thought of everything. The devs have thought of everything. And so, here we are at the brand new administrations facility. We just installed this, just installed this. You know, we've got so much money now. We've got we've got a lot of income coming in from our uh, sponsorship deal with Porkjet and their success with the Space Plane Plus kit that's been added to Point Two Five. Lots of money floating around the new Pornington KSP Ronan Fawn channel. Subscribe today. So we managed to, uh, you know, uh, assemble a new building and this is basically going to be our marketing department, all right? We're calling it the administration building because marketing is kind of a dirty word around here, but, um, you know, you've got to do what you've got to do in order to move product and um, get people watching your videos and that sort of thing, so um, I, I'm using uh, hypnotism is, is basically what I'm going for. really is a lovely new facility that we have put together here today. I am very proud of the Kerbals for putting this in. Bill, Bill, what you say, you and I go in and have a sit down with the marketing team. <laughs> I love the smell of a new building. Yes, welcome to the administration's building. Now, what we've got basically here is a marketing team. We've hired Mortimer, Linus, Walt, and Gus Kerman to, you know, handle the public relations end of things. So let's say I'm playing a career mode game and I managed to rack up lots of reputation. Everyone loves me. I just came back from the moon, hugely successful in the public eye, but I'm just not making any money. I can go over here to Mortimer and say, is there anything you can do for us in that department of water and he'll say absolutely we can take advantage of the fact that the people like you in order to get you money so we'll reduce the amount of reputation that we have in the community but we'll get cash for it you can change the amount of your commitment to this by uh, with this slider bar here and that changes the percentage of what you're going to get versus the value of what you're giving up but the best thing the absolute best thing about the administration's building <sighs> new building smell but if I could drop the fourth wall for just a moment, one of the most exciting features about Point Two Five is right here, my friends. Click Start New and you're now going to have difficulty options when you start a new game. And from here you can control just about everything about the way that the game plays. You can decide, I don't want to be able to quick load. I don't want to have my, um, I don't want Jebediah coming back. The first time that I killed Jebediah, I don't want to see the prick ever again. You can decide that here. You can now control how much you're going to get in terms of science in terms of money, in terms of reputation. So, if you've been playing KSP for a good long time, you're very, very good at it, and you want a good challenge, you can just rake these down to 10% of their usual values. Or, okay, you could do the kind of thing that I've got in mind, which is to take these and peg them at a thousand percent of their usual values, and then make yourself a sandbox version of career mode. This, this is Squad's love letter to long-term players of KSP. This is exciting to me. Is that, is that a bad thing? Is that kind of silly when they've got all this, all this fancy stuff? Okay, never mind this, never mind this. Let's get back to the cool stuff. And of course, what kind of a flight expo would we have if we didn't have an air show? So, Tomomane Kerman is now going to say, Tomomane? Tomo, did I say that right? Tomomane, 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 to Toblerone. Toblerone Kerman is going to take this up for us. Um, so let's do that. Come on, come on, Tomomane. Fire that, fire that bad boy up. Yes, there you go. Just, just, you're gonna have to cut this hard. Just cut it hard to the left. There's a lot of people in your way, so you've got to do this. You've got to make your maneuver. Make it, come on. Come on now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Move on. Move on. Breaks off. Okay, just cut to the left. Cut to the left. Cut to the left. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, Tomomane. Tomomane. No, no. That's not right. That's not right, Tomomane. No, that's very important equipment. That is very important equipment, Tomomane. This is not how the flight show is supposed to go. But I at least am showing off the new explosions in KSP.25. Aren't they lovely? Look at the little dirt and the little, and the little flying things all over the place. They're like little fireworks going off. And, and, okay, bonus. Toblerone Kerman survived. Congratulations, Toblerone. Where'd you get your hair done? In the 1950s? Bill, do you have any idea what's going on here? Houston, Houston, come in, Houston. What's going on? Well, I've been trying to warn you all day, Pawn, but you couldn't be bothered. Well, I'm here now. What? What is all this? It doesn't really matter, Pawn. It's too late. There's nothing to do. Just hold on to your butts out there. <laughs> 